Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be trying out a ultra budget Demir control deck. So the goal of this video is to try to build the deck with the restrictions of everything being common or uncommon, so almost like a popper deck, other than the cards that we'd get for free. So the only rare is Nezahal the Primal Tide, which you get for free in one of the starter decks, as well as the mana base. So the mana base we are playing for Drowned Catacombs and for Watery Graves. Other than that, everything in the main board and the sideboard are all commons and uncommons. So this deck here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ultra budget, then like a moderate budget, and then a, a no budget version. And we'll have a couple videos of each just so you can see the progression between the lists. And it's something to build up from when you first start to as you progress to get more wild cards. Um, so the deck itself is a control deck. Um, you're trying to control what your opponent plays out, either kill it or counter it, and eventually in the long game win. Um, so the deck itself, the only creatures we're playing is uh, Augur Bolas, which is basically a card draw spell for us that can block early on. Um, it can find instants or sorceries in the top three, which is pretty much our deck. Uh, we have Negate, uh, because we're not playing like Vraska's Contempt or some of the good uh, Planeswalker removal spells in black, we have to be a little bit more counter happy. We have a couple cast downs as removal. We have Thought Erasure plus Disinformation Campaign to try to grind out our opponent's hand. Um, so that's a good way of removing cards. We're playing a Tyrant Scorn, which has been pretty good against a lot of the aggro decks. It's just a catch-all removal for three mana or less. Uh, so then our Planeswalker Suite is Narset Parter of Veils, which makes controlled players not be able to draw more cards and helps us dig for more answers as well as Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. So this could force our opponent to discard cards in conjunction with Disinformation Campaign and Thought Erasure, and then his passive ability is technically a way we could win the game as well. Uh, rounding up the removal suite, we have Omnixus's Cruelty, just a minus 5-5 five five with Exile, and then some Cryo Carnariums versus the Aggro matchup. We're playing three Chemisters in sight for card draw, an Eldest Reborn to deal with Planeswalkers, and just more discard and then two Discovery Dispersal as some more card draw, and uh, the Bounce Effect may be relevant, and then one Nezahal. So with the, self, the deck itself, um, we'll have to try it out. It seems a little bit more tap-out control-y. Um, we don't have too much card draw. I opted to not play Opt, aptly named. Um, instead, playing Augur Bolas as a way to defend. Uh, in terms of the sideboard, we're running four duress for the control matchup, or just the combo matchup. Some disdainful strokes against like Grixis or big mana decks. Uh, negate as a catch-all versus more planeswalkers. Uh, we're playing a moment of craving in the side, and then another cryo carnarium, and then three plague crafters for um, either planeswalker decks. So this is good against Hesper if they're not playing many creatures. Is a way for them to just uh, kill a planeswalker. Uh, Ashiok, I'm trying to see how that is bringing in on the side against decks that care about their graveyard or to do um, against control. And then just another Eldest Reborn as a pseudo removal slash win condition. So we'll try it out, see how it goes. Obviously with this being ultra budget, you're somewhat restricted to the cards you can pl put in it. But I think it'll be a fun exercise. So as we wait for the match, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, I'm MTG Joe. We play uh, pretty much everything from jank budget decks to uh, tier one decks on the channel. Um, so we'll kind of mix it up. We usually have about four to seven videos a week up on the channel. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to subscribe. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. So we'll get started. Uh, so this hand's pretty good. We can discovery on one, or on sorry, on two. And then Disinformation Campaign on 3. If we need to, we do have the luxury of cast downing an early spell. Chemist's Insight's a good way for us to refill our hands. Uh, do we keep both? I'm actually going to opt to keep both. Keep Nezahal protected in case they have a turn to Thought Erasure. Okay, so this could be Grixis, it could be Black Red Control. 
As this is our main wind condition, I didn't want to graveyard it. Okay, so this is looks like uh, big Rakdos. So they probably play Chain Whirlers and some other spells. So here we can start grinding apart our opponent's hand. Uh, so on four, we want to get rid of the Karn. Uh, I do want to keep Daryl on top. So it's unfortunate we don't have a second block source, otherwise we could have cast down. The opponent will likely Thought Erasure us here. They get a lot of value with the flip card. So they'll probably take Campaign as my guess. Oh, they take Nazahal. Actually, that's pretty problematic with the Eldest Reborn. Uh, so here... Probably should have waited for the playing the land. Doesn't make much difference. So they'll play Eldest Reborn and they'll get back Nezahal. It's really good against Phoenix here. Us being short, the block really hurts here. Just pass the turn here. If we had a second block, we could have played both, but it makes it a little awkward. So we'll just exile this, keep our life total pretty high. may want to consider playing a second one of these in the side if we encounter a lot of Phoenix decks. Oh, that's actually a great opening for us to get him to discard. So, like, we will lose the Dariel. I'll have to order 20. They are going to take two damage. Perish the thought. But that keeps them from getting our Nezahal. Oh, well, Chemister's Insight this turn. Loneliness can hurt. So they'll go to combat here. Another card worth maybe considering in this budget version is Blink of an Eye. Just a way to reset, like a Resolve Planeswalker. Okay, that's actually really good for us. So here we can... Sabotage whatever they get. And then Disinformation Campaign, as they start drawing more cards, we can get them out of our opponent's hand. I'm gonna kill the, uh, the Dire Fleet. That's fine. I'm gonna hold off on Insight, because I like all the cards in our hand. Just keep our life total high. Uh, what do we have in our graveyard? Yeah, I don't want them to chemisters in sight and refill their hand. They got a lot of mana, so... Don't think we want the Thought Erasure. pretty sweet. So this will give us a card draw and then we could counter their next spell. Uh, can we auger? Yeah, we could also auger a bolus. 
It's not a fast clock, but it is a clock. Uh, I will take another insight. We will pass the turn. Sabotage will pick up this information campaign as well. The opponent doing this on their main phase too is good because it gives us more thought erasure attacks or uh, options. Yeah, so Siege Gang's definitely not resolving. Don't want lands. Play out a chain whirler. Not the end of the world. We can take a couple attacks. Got rid of another chain whirler. So we we'll play this out. So here we have to decide if we want to fake. So we can play this fake like we have a counter spell by shocking in. But I think regardless they play into the stuff so let's just play out like that. No attacks. So the deck's drawn a lot of cards which has been good. We've been able to hold off pretty non-budget deck as well. We want to find one of our Eldest Reborns, another Dariel would be good. It's fine. Use your removal there. So here we're going to just try going digging. So we'll set up a turn for Double Cry. So I'm just going to do this now, just to get this back to hand. So this is a really good engine with the Surveil engine. Next turn we can double cry and I'll exile the Phoenix. We are getting pretty low on life. Hoping they overextend one more. Okay. And then we can just chemistry's insight on the end step. Okay, so we dodged a turn there. We have Augur. Play out another Augur. Just play this tapped and say go. Here we want to dig, see if we can find a counter spell. We might be able to tempo them out. Okay, so that actually works out pretty well. Kill that, and then we should be able to get Neza Hall up. We can get Neza Hall. Yeah. So opponent concedes. Ultra budget. It takes the game first game.
Uh, so in this matchup, I do like Ashiok, Eldest Reborn, the Sainful Stroke. I don't know if we want the Duress. This gets rid of Chain Whirler, but that's about it. The negates are okay. We could probably shave one. There's Nezahal, but they probably played Vraska's Contempt and a whole bunch other cards, but we might still need that. What do we got to cut three? I think let's just bring in the Play Crafters instead. Narset, we can cut. Two or three more cards. Cast down's good. The Autoracer's good. Sabotage. Let's get rid of the discoveries. Actually, Plague Crafters probably aren't as good. They showed. Um, what's its name? Uh, the Goblin. The. Uh, the one that makes all the tokens. Chain war not chain whirler. The big one big goblin. Five mana goblin. Our sideboard's really kind of focused on beating control. Okay, so we'll keep this hand. Our lands are a little awkward, but we have disruption. They're gonna duress. Not too bad, we got to sneak that out. I was hoping for an untapped land. Okay, so here, let's just play out Augur. Take another Cry Carnarium. I'm gonna do this now anyways to make it seem like we don't have another land. So we're punished here because they're gonna take our Darier, Davriel. So we could have played it out onto an empty board. Let's just get campaign going. I guess against us, because we draw a lot of cards. I, will defend my allies. I don't think we could beat a result, Karn. If they want to blow a carnival. That's fine. Let's see if what we get off campaign. Oh, they're triple carnival. So a likely down tick. Good choice. We can take the lands. So you might want to play, and like Planeswalkers are going to be tough once they resolve at this deck. Ah, more cries don't help. Just going to play this out. This will aid us. Angrath. Ever seen water burn? You will. Each opponent loses life equals a number of cards in their graveyard. It's a start. Fast turn here. Chemistry's insight on end step. No 
fire, no steel. Are you certain of your decision? We're able to keep giving him lines. Carnarium here. Your lack of fear disturbs me. And just minus again. Oh, Behold. two Phoenix off. That's really good. My dreams dissipate. I'm nice. gonna hold the. So I'm gonna hold this for their end step to bounce it, so then we could counter it on the way down. Smarty. Ooh, this is awkward. No fire, no steel. Forgot about Angrath. They Cast it for spectacles, so we could get him to discard the Angrath this way. So we got rid of Angrath, technically. It's very odd that they arrest us there. My victory was but a dream. Hugger's not terrible, but with us losing all three cryocarnariums, pretty much dead here. And this is where like ultra budget's gonna hurt us not having clean interaction. You may regret that choice. You can have that. Control the board. Yeah, opponent's got this one, and this one will be tough. Like because we don't have like commence the end game or anything like that. Uh, since we saw that, it's tough because it's weird. It's not showing the art. Probably want that in. Probably cut two of these. I think we need more removal. Eldest are born. Ashiok gets rid of Phoenix. Cut down one campaign. Try that. So there's some cool plays, like you saw with us being able to bounce Angrath to kind of get them to discard, it gets exiled. Us playing first, oh, this hand's good if we draw lands. So we have a scry and a draw, alright, we have a draw, so we'll try. Rewarded. Do we have we have cast down? I want to land here. Okay, so here they're going to Legion's War Boss. Fine, we'll just get this information campaign and then cast it down next turn and we could dispersal to bounce it back to our hand. So 
So this is interesting what they'll take. Likely the cast down. So we'll just keep breaking apart their hand. Tyrant Scorn's good for next turn. Let's just repeat that turn. It's fine. So they'll, they'll have a 1 1 remaining. Or, you know, Cry Carnarium. So this plays a little worse because we don't get to draw the land, but it's a clean board. Ah, there you go. So if we get a land, Eldest Reborn's really good here. You can have the land. Eldest Reborn, or land, land, land. Here, I think we I think the coast is clear for Ashia. Just start getting some exile in. Getting rid of siege gangs, pretty good. So they'll probably down tick, and then take. Uh, our eldest are born. Action is needed. That's unfortunate. Missing the land drop there, we couldn't Eldest Reborn, and that's probably going to cost us the game. So... Let's campaign here first. So I'm going to hold off. I'm probably willing to let Ashiok take two points of damage here because I want a Disdainful Stroke to hold up. So we'll just kill it otherwise. Opponent is taking two cards a turn. So we are getting pretty good grind value. Yeah, so you got a Siege Gang here. Okay, that's pretty good still. So we'll destroy Dire Fleet. Uh, let's set up a turn like this. Open to draw land. Didn't. And then we'll just exile. Um, sorry about that. So opponent takes duress here. They'll probably take Ashiok. Be interesting too if they take Thought Erasure. That wouldn't be the worst. I'm just gonna keep grinding out their hand for the time being. Ooh, Dariel's really good there. So let's see what they got going on here. Fight with Fire and Rick Smotty. Uh, campaign could go away. 
I don't even know what's with the silver counters right now. Let me pick your brain. So opponent will flip the map here. Ugh, what a whiner. Sorry about that. Dog uh, went into the sock drawer. Uh, so here we'll discard a campaign and an auger. Uh, so we'll hold on to this just with more toughness. Cast this out to draw a card. We're at 37, they're at 26. And we hit the land, which is good, so we'll just pass the turn. Struggling. Good. Just in case they start using... Some solutions must be built. So here... Just gonna be mana efficient. Use this now. Just want to try to draw as many cards as possible. Ooh, dispersal's good. So we can get rid of Karn that way. So here... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just do this. It does restart Karn, but... Oh, perfect. I will definitely take Double Insight. Refills our hand for us. And we'll pass the turn. So here we'll insight. Get them to discard. Let's tidy up in there. Augur can serve as a blocker this turn. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Having the Dariel on top as a second backup would have been good. They're at 23 cards. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. Think it's Phoenix still. Oh, and they had the Eldest Reborn. I'll just block here. I think they got us now. Yeah, I think they got us. We grinded pretty well. Get rid of that. They hit us for seven here. We can Eldest Reborn something next turn. See if they down to Karn here. We just need to sabotage it. This gives us a look. Don't want lands. Your patience is rewarded. Rex Mahdi is another good one to fill up their hand. Ashiok doesn't do it either.
see what we get with this. Yeah. They sack the Phoenix, they get it back. It's not enough. Just see if they make the right line of play. If they sack the Phoenix, they're good. They do. We'll give the opponent the good games. So, tough one for sure, but that was actually surprisingly competitive for us being, like, ultra budget. So, we'll crack our pack. Hopefully, some more sweet cards. Ooh, the best, <laughs> the best card to crack, wild card. All right, so that's the deck itself. Um, the next one we'll come out with is the moderate budget. It'll be up probably within the day or so. And then we'll do the non-budget one as well. The non-budget one uh, can give you a sneak peek. Uh, this is the one I've been playing. Uh, basically switching the Pateramanders that you've seen a lot of the builds for Thief of Sanity main. Um, it's been pretty good, um, but we'll get back to that. My dog wants to go outside, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and have a great one.